Hi Aries, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of May 2022. This is for any Aries looking for any guidance and messages in their love life. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, there'll be other readings coming up soon. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit no notifications for any updates. I'm going to start today's reading with one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel Oracle deck. Then we're going to draw three cards for past, three for present, and future. Plus one card at the bottom of the deck for advice for you. Let's begin with your reading, Aries. I hope you guys are doing well. It's always a chill vibe here with me. Thanks for hanging out. And let's get with your reading. So... Universe, what do we have in store for April? What do we need to know? Well, this popped up, so we're gonna take it. We're gonna do soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Aries. So whoever this resonates with, for those of you Aries, there is a soulmate coming in. This could be someone that is new, that's coming in this month. This could be someone that you already know. Okay, the answers are within you. Okay, now I'm going to draw three cards for past and present and future. Let's shuffle the deck a little bit so you guys know there's no sketchy business going on here. Okay, all right, guys, let's see what we have for Aries Universe. Please give me a message for Aries. We're going to do three for past, present, future, and one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. Okay, let's cut the deck, and we'll begin with your reading. So, remember, your message is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Aries. Who is this person that you're dealing with right now? Is this a friend that you're hoping to have a, a better connection with? And you guys discover each other? Is this someone new that's coming into your life that you're going to meet? Whether it be someone through a family friend or even uh, someone that you meet at the supermarket, okay? So let's see what we have in store for you. I'm going to draw three cards for your past energy. Your first card for you, Aries, will be the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. Your next card, we have the Two of Pentacles. All right, and lastly, we have the Magician, but in reverse. Okay. Let's quickly take a look here for you, Aries, and see what is going on with your lives right now. Or this is past, so what has been going on for your life, okay? We have the Two of Swords. Let's talk about this first. The Two of Swords in reverse. So, Aries... For a lot of you, the energy here is confusion, having to make a choice but not being able to. Some of you may be dealing with either wanting to let go of someone that you care about. Some of you worry that maybe you're making the wrong choices in life. And if you've uh, made the, the wrong choices of to where you are in the past, but not recent, like not too uh, far back, you know, it's still recent, but you feel as if you've made certain choices and some of them didn't work out in your favor. Some of them you've made mistakes. Sometimes you've caused some sort of rift between you and another person here. But the idea here is there's some sort of internal battle that you're going through right now in your mind. And this is heavily a decision that needs to be made or a truth that needs to be realized for some of you, okay? Um, so I do see that energy as confusion, not being able to make choices, and holding your position, okay? Maybe even for some of you, a little bit of stagnancy, okay? Now next we have the Two of Pentacles for you. So Aries, this card comes up when you're now able to make the right choice. And somehow you found yourself in a position where you said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead with this. I'm going to be able to handle this. I can take on whatever it is I need to, okay? And you've done a good job of handling your situation. You've made sure that you've kept certain people around you and enough for you to actually also find new love. Some of you have done the work. Some of you have put in effort, okay? 
and it will show because you are able to now acquire what you need here. And of course, um, since you are keeping busy in a sense with who you are yourself and what you're doing, okay, people are seeing that around you. And you're able to make the choice for love. You're able to say, okay, I'm ready for this, okay? And in the past, things were tough. And there was a hard choice, of course. Now, the magician comes up here when there's issues with you obviously manifesting something. So for some of you, the idea of finding your perfect soulmate or your one person, okay, has always, you've either put in effort and things obviously went sour for some of you. Some of you didn't have the right skill sets to take on certain people that you were entertaining. Some of you felt not prepared. Some of you may have made mistakes, okay? And so this now comes up because you're finding yourself having to rework some of your uh, personality for some of you. Some of you may be hitting the gym. Some of you are trying to improve yourselves. And then this is a realization that there's things that you can do to better yourself even, okay? And improve. Because you sat stagnant for a while now. And your choice to now find love and fully be prepared for it, Aries, okay? Means that you're going to turn that magician around. And you're in the process of it, okay? And of course... We do know that there's a soulmate coming, so let's take a look at your present energy for you, okay, Aries? Your first card will be the Page of Swords, okay? Your next card, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, and lastly, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, Aries, let's take a look and see what we have for you for your present energy. There's a lot of swords. So right now, currently, or not so long ago, literally happening in this very moment, you are dealing with a lot of mind games. You are dealing with uh, issues with believing in yourself. There are self-confidence issues. There are some communication issues for some of you, okay? The Page of Swords can speak about a person, of course, represented by air. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius for you, okay, Aries? If they don't, if they aren't the sign, this energy is, yes, a younger, more vibrant, uh, very intelligent individual. Someone who seeks answers. Someone who likes to be uh, the center of attention even sometimes. Somebody who is a very good speaker and listener, okay? And they are starting their life in some, in some way, starting something new. They could be starting a business, a new career path, okay? But whatever it is, this is something that they're still owning their skills in, but they're definitely very successful, okay? And this person that you're dealing with can also have a, uh, be playing mind games with you and i'll get to that in a second so the reason i say that and they may also be keeping an eye on you for some of you uh there could be some online looking up looking you up okay on social media so facebook instagram TikTok, whatever you guys use okay uh, but that could be something that they may look into without you knowing so here we have the seven of swords in reverse so like i said this page of swords is either secretly spying on you on social media or they may be hiding something from you some information that they don't want to say some of them may be wanting to come towards you some of them feel like there's something that needs to be told to someone and they feel like they can't okay there's a, a reason why for some of you, but they're almost fooling themselves into believing that they can get away with this even. It's not something 
extremely bad, but there's something that they need to get out of their system. And this may be something or information that you may find out later, or it may be uh, soon, okay? Or you may have dealt with it literally at this very moment, okay? So what information does this person carry? What are they hiding? The simple fact is, they can just be hiding the fact that they're secretly stalking you on social media. That could also be uh, a possibility here. So keep that in mind. There's some sort of sneaky business going on behind the scenes here, um, but nothing that's extremely horrible or anything, okay? All right, so now we have your energy here with the Four of Swords. So uh, in reverse, my apologies. So Aries, some of you may be finding that you have come out of this shell of yours that you've been living in for a while now. And whether it was you not being mentally prepared to go back into the dating scene or opening yourself up to people in a way that you haven't in the past. So something's changed and you're going through a transition to getting out there, meeting people, being more positive, okay? I see a lot of motivation happening for you here with the Four of Swords in reverse. You're extremely motivated and you're no longer going to sit by the sidelines and just kind of think about whether or not you'll find someone. You're making it happen. And it could very well be someone that's already here with this Page of Swords person. Okay. Now let's take a look at what's coming up in your future energies. We have three more cards for you. Aries, your first card will be the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, your next card. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Could be two people. All right, and lastly, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Aries, let's get down to business right now, okay? Because there's some serious stuff coming up for you. Very serious stuff. Remember, soulmate, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. What is that? Like, where is this person coming from? You're wondering, okay? Well, we have the Knight of Swords, so air again, okay? Page of Swords, air. It, this could very well be two different people. This could be another air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have the Knight of Cups, and that's a water sign, okay? So Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. That is showing up here. A lot of swords, okay? Um, let's go into each card for you, and then we'll figure out what to do next. All right, Aries. So, Knight of Swords in reverse. You're wondering, okay, is this a person? Yeah, it could be a person. They're in reverse though. So, what does that mean? Well, this person would generally come in pretty quickly with some news or information, usually. Something good, okay? something that's going to be discussed, some truth, some information, right? So I see them having an issue trying to come towards you. I see them not wanting to confront you. Maybe they're waiting for you to talk to them, okay? There could be some shyness here or they're taking their time because they don't feel like it's the right moment when to approach you, okay? But there's someone there. There's someone you have on your mind who represents this card here and they basically want to come forward to you okay but hold on we have the knight of cups in reverse so aries this is another person this is someone who could be a water sign this is also someone who is um maybe on the side again a little bit shy a little bit uh Maybe they hold back a little bit, okay? For some of them, they may be going through some stuff right now, okay? Or they may not be emotionally available in a way. And this is something that may, time may be needed here. But they do care for you. They care for you. Because they're emotional people and that's how they survive. So, this person here has some feelings for you, but they're not quite ready right now, okay? 
So there's potential people here for you. If any of this resonates with you. All right, Aries. Um, we're going to go into the Wheel of Fortune. So this is... This is basically going to somehow all work out in your favor. Something will change for you, whether or not it's these two or even this page of swords person, you're going to find yourself in a position where you're going to finally know, at least know that this person has some sort of feelings for you, or they have some sort of intention for you and they're going to show it to you. Okay, and things kind of will maybe even work out in a way that's unexpected. So you may be like flabbergasted with the situation. I don't know. It's going to be anything weird like you may, you know, serendipitous. Okay, think about that. So keep an eye out because you're going to be going through some changes, major like relationship. Okay, for some of you. Some of you are going to feel like you're very lucky here, of course, okay? And there is a lot of good karma involved here and a lot of hope. So I want you to really realize this, okay? And know that if you suspect someone uh, is someone that could be your soulmate that you have a connection with, know that they're here and they have other reasons why they don't want to necessarily approach you right up front because sometimes that can be awkward. But know that one person here wants to uh, is hiding their feelings for you and they do care about you. And this other person here is someone who wants to come towards you and ask you about something, but they're afraid and they may be shy or they're taking their time to kind of weigh out until they're ready, okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm going to draw one more card at the bottom of the deck here for your advice. Let's see what we have. Ah, it's the three of pentacles. There we are. So this is your advice for the month of May, Aries. For a lot of you, you're going to be showing off being uh, in a position where you're going to be able to uh, relate to others, do collaborations group settings even okay you may be teaching something something but there's going to be a situation that comes up and when this situation comes up you're gonna know it okay and you're just gonna know that the wheel of fortune has your favor here and whatever's supposed to happen and whatever you believe will be your person is going to happen for you okay and no this is just a nod for you with the three of pentacles that you will be put in this situation and don't refuse. Don't say no, okay? Know that that's the right path. So whatever this is, to take on this, uh, see if you see the three of pentacles here, you see there's two other individuals. We're gonna put it up on the screen there. Okay, yeah, there we go, that's actually better. So you're gonna see there that there's one individual and he's working towards something and people are seeing him. So this is your moment to shine. This is you in your element accept what your destiny is and take on whatever it is. If there's something that you question, okay, whether or not this is right, know that this three of pentacles is predicting that you will be in a position where you're going to take all your power back and everyone's going to see it. Okay. Everyone's going to respect you. And that's when all these people start coming in, in your life that have already been there. Okay. And things will start shifting for you. So try to make that happen, Aries. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Remember, if this doesn't resonate, there'll be other readings coming up for you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit notifications for any updates, and I'll be back again. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.